Hello people and today I'm going to show you my Apple Box collection. So I'm going to start with two iPods. So I've got this one. This is an iPod Touch version. So okay, box not case. So still got the um this got the start here fingertips essentially but not fingertips apple stickers apple stickers the earbuds you know so you've got pretty much everything in here so that's the third gen box I, I quite like it it's not actually the one that goes with it it's actually an 8 gig mine's a 30 gig I, I, that's not the first time that that's happened but I've got a box for it but it's actually for a different storage capacity okay now on to these iPod touch is so one so, so this is a um, fifth gen right this is the fifth gen Yeah, this is the fifth gen, so there's not much in here, it's just like, if I can get, this is what I got back in 2013, I have no clue what happened to like the stickers and the guide, but there's, I don't think there's any of that. And then here's the sixth gen, 2016 this is, so you've got the original sticker that would have been on the screen on iris 8.4 we've got like the thing is there apple stickers i don't think the apple stickers are in here um oh no there they are there okay well this is going to be a pain to put it back in i'm not going to actually put it back in on camera so you've got those and i onto the final iPod of the video iPod Classic 6th gen the iPod's inside here so you've got the welcome thing and there it is, it's in the case you can't really see it, it's there it's in the case there's, a, there's no like Apple stick, there's not really much going on in there it's a bit dull um, Hmm, what do I do next? So, I've shown you the iPods. I'll stack them up. Oh, I've got the tray on my lap. Yeah, that's in the wrong order. That's going to be Okay, next, I guess, was do the iPhones. So, should I do the oldest first? I guess I'll do the oldest first. I and mean, I technically didn't do oldest. Well, I guess I grouped them up because they touch and then classic. Anyways, yeah, the oldest. It's the 3G. I should probably move my camera slightly. So this. It's the 3G. God, oops. 3G. Box is huge, it's absolutely huge. Got, it's got the box bit there that holds it in. Got the fruity. We've got Apple stickers. We've got so you've got the the important product information. And then this is. Fingertips. That should be the other way. It should probably be the important information guided at the back. No one cares about it. Let's be real. Yeah. Fingertips. Yeah. So there's not actually really anything here. There is a sim tray I got with it. Both fallen down or disappeared. 
yeah, it's in the box. Is there like a hole? Oh yeah, there is a hole. Yeah. So there's no like accessories that came with it. I've got this survived today, by the way, and I've got the three G. It's currently on four point two point one. It's currently you know suffering essentially. It's so slow. So is that the right way? No, that's not. Yeah, so that is the absolutely huge 3G box. Okay. So I'll put that right over there because it's going to be an even. Well, it's going to be. A, yeah, some more boxes. So, quite small compared to the 3G box. It's the 3GS. It's like the iPhone 3G, except from Ben, like every way. Look at that, that size difference. It's actually absurd. So, in here, if I manage to do this, we've got, we've even got the little pull tab, pull cardboard thing, which is very cool. Yeah, so. There would be the sim tray there. Fingertips, you've got fingertips, you've got one apple sticker. Um the important product information guide no one cares about. So yeah. There's nothing else in there. Don't expect much. Design by Apple in California. Yeah, I love these old black boxes. They look so cool. Let's be real. Oh yeah, this is also a case where the um, box actually doesn't match the storage capacity. This is 16 gigs, it says, but it's actually a 30 gig thing. Yeah, so. 3GS. The tower's like already off camera. Do you know what comes after the 3GS? It's the iPhone 4. So this is a 16 gig. And I believe it is a 16 gig. I can't read. Really, I'm pretty sure it said 16 gigs when I plugged it in. I can't actually look because it's not activated. It's locked. Can't. Probably EE. I haven't actually looked. So it's not fade I know that. And it shouldn't be free. Yeah, so this is on the iPhone 4. Really not that exciting. There's nothing inside. But yeah. Onto the tower. Um, so, I do have like a lot more of these devices. But I don't... Like, it took me like, like... I've been sort of properly starting to collect these devices since July. And uh, yet I... The only device where... Like, the first device that I got with a box was the iPod Touch Virgin, and that was yesterday. And then the 4 and the 3G, you can't really see the 4, that that was today. So, yeah. I knew both of those were coming with boxes. So, yeah. I didn't know about the Virgin, though. Okay. On to the next one. We're going quite modern. With the iPhone 7. Um, yeah. Don't think there's anything in there. Nope. Quite boring. But that's the 7. Well, it's boring and modern. Well, I mean, technically, it's still a legacy device. And for the final iPhone. iPhone 8 Plus. So, as you can see, it's an exception um, and there's nothing in there and it's white inside will this tower collapse now got a giant box on top of it no well let's go on to the iPad so here's the first one 
I want lick that so badly. It looks so good on iOS 6. I wish I could have that again. I miss iOS 6 on the iPad mini. Yeah, so this was what I got 10 years ago. Where it could have been the replacement thing. Because, like, I cracked it um, in, like, 23 and got um, a replacement. Like, completely replaced it. It really wasn't worth replacing it, to be honest. Because, like, it was, like, cheaper to replace it than get repaired by Apple. Fuck you, Apple. Um, anyways. Yeah. Um, so, this is either that box or the original box from November 2012, 10 years ago. So, yeah. So, this... I've not even said, like, the storage amounts of the one, so... 3G, 8 gigs, or oh, well, not sure if the box is, but the phone is. It's, it's 30, it says 16, but it's a 32 gigs, so that's like a different box. 4, 16 gigs. 7, 32 gigs. 8, 64. And then touch 6 is 64. The 5th is... um. 16 yeah so this is a 32 gig i had many and there is absolutely nothing in there so oh well oh i love the ipad mini i miss it i miss the ipad mini I, like it's in storage somewhere it got in a boot loop i might be able to fix it i die continuing on here it is an iPad Air with a bit of brown. If you look, no clue. Look at iOS 7. Boo, boring. Let's open it up. I've got to pretty much do a soft camera just because of the size I need to put in my hand. Look. Can't really look. It's a bit big. Nothing. Woo. And finally, in this box collection, it's this. Absolutely huge. A huge, 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 and it's just the side of an iPad. How boring is that? It is iPad Pro first gen. Absolutely absurd. So this is 256 gigs. The Air first gen is... Um, just 16, but it's cellular. And if you look, does it have Apple stickers? That's the bare question. Oh god, move this out of the way. Yeah, it's a bit hard to film when you've got like 9 billion boxes. So this is 256 gig iPad Wi-Fi only, so it's second highest end. Is there Apple stickers? No. This paper is like proper thin. God, look at how little apps there are on the home screen. Like a four by four, like they really did not put enough icons on the iPads, all the iPads like have way less icons than they should. Their like icons are really spaced out, and they're like massive compared to what they are on the iPhone. Ridiculous. Yeah. So, no Apple stickers in there. Nothing else, but at least there's something to this. So there is my conclusion to this video. If you're wondering why I'm doing a box collection instead of like. A device collection. Well, the reason is this, literally this. A decent amount of my devices on are in storage um, at my sister's house and my brother's house. So, I've kind of got to deal with that before. So, I've got all, all of the devices on me except from the mini, the... 
and the sixth, uh, fifth, fifth gen. It's actually that one, the bomb one. You can't really see it. And um, oh, that's pretty much it. And we two devices, and then the air is like completely broken, unfortunately. And then also the 7 has got like a dodgy battery, no screen, no home button. Because I basically did a dodgy repair of it. I'm really not good at repairing these devices. This has been 15 minutes a five box collection video. God knows how long it would take to do a device collection. God knows. But here you go. Also, none of these devices are mine. iPad Pro, to be exact, is actually my dad's. Yeah, the touch, uh, the sixth gen touch and the classic, also my dad, but they're pretty much out of use. Well, the iPad Air definitely out of use. It doesn't work. So, that is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Um, every day this week I've been doing a device about, like, a, a video about legacy devices. This is a, the sixth one because it's Saturday. I'm not going to recall what I did on each day, so I'm probably going to get it wrong. But, yeah. Go watch those if you want to, if you're interested. Maybe I should do an end screen. I haven't done any end screens or thumbnails or subtitles. I really should. But, well, I did for the forest, but that's a, because that was like pre recorded and effort was put into it quite a bit, and yet it gets barely any views. So, if you're interested in legacy videos, there, subscribe. Watch the playlist. I've got a playlist of it now. Finally bothered to create it like yesterday, five days in. But yeah, I'll probably be doing this again in like a couple months as well. I will do like themed weeks for the end of like each month or something like that. Like the final week of each month. But, anyways, enough distracting. Goodbye.